afternoon, I guess. Quite the turn of events since yesterday. As I mentioned yesterday, I was in pain all day. Got to camp, it got worse. Got a horrible fever. Both kidneys hurt. Did not get a wink of sleep. Oh. Woke up this morning. Pain was still there. Or well, actually, I, I I say woke up. I think I doze off every few minutes. Anyway, long story short, I couldn't take anymore. I text. I had service. I texted my sister. I said I need help. I need to get to a hospital. I had 48 hours of excruciating pain. Still have it. So she called 911. And uh, some lady called me. They were going <laughs> to do a airlift me out of there. And I said, no way. I said, it doesn't matter if I sit, lay, walk, stand. I got the pain. I can walk to the pass. Pass is two and a half miles. She told me no to stay in the tent. Well, a few minutes later, the actual fire guy, the fire guy that was driving up here called me and he uh is allowing me to walk to the pass he, he's gonna when he gets there he's gonna come in and carry my backpack the rest of the way and get me to the hospital <laughs> oh my god i have never in my life been in such pain and then when that fever hit, both kidneys hurt. Oh, Lord. So, I'm on my way to the trailhead and meeting Trenton, fire rescue guy who's going to drive me two hours to Eugene Hospital. <laughs> oh, God. And it's a beautiful day. But I can't take this pain anymore. It just won't stop, won't go away. I'm making it worse. Now they got an infection too. So that's the plan. Oh. Mm. Yep, I sat there and moaned and cried all night long. Unbe unbelievable just not would not stop so I think around 8 o'clock I fell asleep for a couple hours that's when I woke up and the pain was still there and I said that's it that's enough and too bad I'm so freaking far away if I was back I don't know 30 miles I could go go on the bend which is much closer now that I'm this far south, Eugene, I'm kind of, the guy told me, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I haven't eaten. I could, oh God. Couldn't even eat dinner last night. I tried. Mm. But, just too nauseous. Anyway, I gotta put this phone up. I gotta, oh. oh. Well, good morning. It is Monday, September 23rd. It is my 86th day out on the PCT. And that's counting off days and 
hospital stays and <laughs> trail angel stays. It's not sure where to begin. Let's see, 11 days ago, which been, would have been Friday, the September 12th, uh, my last video would have been the 11th, I was at Rosary, Lower Rosary Lake, and I had kidney stone pain all that day, the night before, and then it turned out at that lake all night long. I never slept a wink, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. So I woke up Friday morning and I had some service. So I texted my sister and said, I need help, I need to get to a hospital. And I just, I, I fell asleep from exhaustion. I know a couple hours later, somebody was calling me <laughs> and they were coming to get me. <laughs> well, I told them I could, uh, well, that was a dispatcher and to make the story short, the uh, actual paramedic who was coming up here uh, called me and asked me, could I get to the trailhead? And I said, yes, I knew I was three miles away from the trailhead. I said, man, I said, this pain, it doesn't matter if I sit, stand, lay, it's, it's there. It doesn't matter. He said, well, if you can start walking, he said, I'll, when I get there, I'll send my paramedic in and he can carry your backpack. So I got a mile in and he, he crossed paths with him and uh, he carried my backpack. And so anyway, we get there and they have an ambulance for me and uh, put an IV in me and start pumping me full of drugs. And uh, I took three different hits of uh, fentanyl, fentanyl, never touched that pain. And uh, so finally I get to the hospital in Bend. They took me all the way back to Bend and uh, to the hospital. And they put a different IV in me and gave me something else and it kind of knocked the pain down some. Next thing I know, they're wheeling me to surgery. <laughs> so they put a temporary stent in to relieve all that kidney pressure I was having because it was not gonna stop. I had ended up having a 10 millimeter kidney stone stuck way down above my bladder. So I had to spend 11 days. I was released from the hospital the next day, but I had to go back to have the uh, I forgot the name of the surgery now. It's a, they basically go in and laser the stone, turn it into pulp. <laughs> so last Wednesday, I went back for that at the day, at this, uh, day surgery center. And while I was in there, a uh, lady comes back. She heard me talking to the receptionist, and her husband was in, the, in there for uh, the same procedure. He just had gone back. She came back talking to me. She said, well, where are you staying? And I she knew I was doing the PCT and I told her, been in a hotel room since Saturday. So she volunteered her to come get me and take me to her and all my hiking stuff to her house to recoup for the rest of the week. So her husband, Mark, and her name was Sharon. They were just totally awesome. Awesome people, kind and generous. So basically they put me up for three, I was supposed to be there four nights, but I ended up, I, I didn't feel good after my surgery. And uh, I just stayed in the hotel room. I didn't even get out of bed all day. So they picked me up, uh, I guess it was Friday, last Friday. I stayed with them Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. And Mark drove me to the trailhead this morning. So I just got started about 10.30, back on the PCT. <laughs> Actually, I was wanting to start yesterday, but I still wasn't feeling great, and, and it rained yesterday, so it's easily to talk myself out of starting yesterday and start it back today. So, I'm at Highway 58, mile 745, and I've got to head to Shelter Cove, where I was supposed to be last two, uh, two Fridays ago, to pick my resupply up. And I think this is the section we have a 20 mile section with no water. That's not good. <laughs> not sure what I'm gonna do yet there, but when I get to Shelter Cove, I'll talk to them and see what I need to do. I may have to carry extra two liters of water because I'm not hiking 20 miles today to water. So I may have to stop halfway or something and 
<clears throat> since it was my first day back. But yeah, it's been quite the ordeal. It's been 11 days in Bend, Oregon. Pretty cool town. And again, kudos and great big thanks and hugs to Mark and Sharon. They were just awesome. Their kindness and generosity was overwhelming. So I appreciate that, guys. And thanks for the ride back to the trailhead because that was about a two-hour drive. I was two hours south of Bend. But uh, the fire rescue ambulance that picked me up, uh, that, their hospital that they go to was, was back in Bend. So I thought they were going to take me to Eugene. Eugene is probably just as close. But there you have it. <laughs> 11 days off trail. Now it's almost the end of September. So just started back. I probably already walked a mile into the woods. And again, I'm, there's a Odell Lake is to my left. And Shelter Cove, is, Shelter Cove Resort is all on the other side of the lake. I actually think it's a mile off the trail. Mark volunteered to take me there. You could drive to it and pick my box up. And I said, eh, I'll hike to it. Now I wish I would have taken him up on it because that's an extra two, mi two miles. I didn't think of that. It's a mile off trail to get there, mile back. <clears throat> so maybe should have driven there and got my box and just started here. But back on the trail, man. And it's supposed to be Pretty nice weather, a lot cooler than it has been. Uh, actually, it's a little chilly right now in the woods. But the sun's out and it's supposed to be out for the next several days. So there you go. That's my story. No more kidney stones. So we'll see what else comes up next. <laughs> oh, and I did, uh, I just can't stand it. I don't like the beard. I went to a barber and had him clip it off. Kept the goatee, the head and the beard cut off, and I got my head buzzed. So we're ready to go. We're ready to start hiking. All right, talk to you later. Well, I made it to Shelter Cove Resort. Uh, here it is. The uh, They have a little restaurant and a big general store, PCT tent with a hiker box. And I've already packed up my food and I am about to head out of here. Well, I haven't videotaped a lot today. It's pretty much been a walk in the woods. Just like it was when I left the trail 11 days ago. <laughs> Haven't made a lot of PCT miles. So that Shelter Cove was, that was a mistake. I should have had Mark volunteer to take me there first. And if I had any idea where it was, uh, I would have. Pretty much wasted uh, three miles walking in about two and a half hours <laughs> of non-PCT hiking. I think I've done about seven miles total, but only three and a half on the PCT. It's pretty much, we saw a uh, Shelter Cove turnoff off Highway 58 where he dropped me off this morning. That's where I stopped. And uh, so when I got on the PCT, I went three miles south. There was a side trail, takes you to the resort. And basically it almost took me back to Highway 58. <laughs> so I pretty much did a whole complete circle and then had to backtrack the mile, they said a mile, that was longer than a mile. It had to be a mile and a half back to the PCT. So, live and learn. And of course, my backpack is weighted down now with about 12 pounds of food and water. So this thing's gotta be weighing about, oh Lord, eight, probably 36 pounds, too much. So I'm not sure how far I'm gonna to go today. I have no energy whatsoever. Body's okay, nothing's hurting. Feet are aching a little bit, but just don't have any energy yet. So I'm sure I'm gonna make it a pretty short day. There's a pond coming up. I'm gonna get water and check gut hooks and see what's available for camping. 
and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, it's just been uh, just what you see behind me all day, walking the woods. This is the uh, Diamond Peak Wilderness that we're in. I'm at about mile 749 of the PCT. And there's no doubt now I, w I am the last Sobo on trail. <laughs> Bar none. And I'm, I doubt I will see another PCT hiker unless somebody gets hurt above me or has to get off trail for any length of time, which is possible. Uh, but I'm not, I'm pretty sure the Nobos are done. They're, if they're this far south, they won't make it to Canada, so I'm sure they're gone. So, I wanted the solitude, I'm gonna have it now. <laughs> Haven't seen a soul today, other than down at the Shelter Cove Resort, but. So, I'm gonna get to hiking and get to this pond, get some water and see what's available for camping tonight. me a campsite uh it's mile 751 on the off the pct or on the pct there is my tent and uh this is called hidden lake it's actually not on gut hooks but i read some people's comments and it's actually hidden from the trail <laughs> it's a much nicer lake than a lot of these stagnant ponds and it's a pretty big lake pretty clean about 30 yards uh, off the trail and I'm sure I'll be the only one here I haven't seen a soul all day <laughs> only did about 10 total miles and only seven on the PCT kind of a wasted day but like I said I've, I've got no energy right now still recouping from uh, all the damn kidney stone surgeries so it's about 530 and uh, about to uh, blow my pad up and get my sleeping stuff ready and cook me some dinner and hopefully get a good night's sleep. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow.